It's useful to recall how isolated the US and Europe are. The non-aligned countries, which is most of the world, they have for years been vigorously supporting Iran's right to enrich uranium. Within the region, as I mentioned, the irrelevant public even strongly favors Iranian nuclear weapons. Uh, the major regional power, Turkey, voted against the latest U.S. sanctions motion in the Security Council, along with Brazil, which is the most admired country of the South, as polls show. Turkey's disobedience led to sharp censure at that point, but not for the first time. Turkey was bitterly condemned in 2003 when the government committed a major crime. It followed the will of 95% of the population and refused to take part in the U.S.-British invasion of Iraq. And uh, that demonstrated its very weak grasp of democracy, which led to <laughs> sanctions and uh, sharp censure. Same today, after the 2010 Security Council misdeed, Turkey was warned by Obama's top diplomat on European affairs, Philip Gordon, that it must demonstrate its commitment to partnership with the West, follow orders in other words. A scholar with the Council on Foreign Relations asked, how do we keep the Turks in their lane? In their lane means following orders, like good Democrats, our style Democrats. Brazil's Lula it was admonished in a New York Times headline. He was warned that his effort with Turkey to provide a solution to the uranium enrichment issue outside the framework of U.S. power is a spot on the Brazilian leader's legacy. In brief, do what we say. That's your function. It's kind of an interesting sidelight to all of this, which has been effectively suppressed. Uh, the Iran-Turkey-Brazil deal had been approved in advance by President Obama, uh, presumably on the assumption that uh, it wouldn't fail and that would provide an ideological weapon against Iran. Uh, that was revealed by the British Foreign Office, which released the letter of support for it after Brazil was censured. When the uh, effort succeeded, uh, approval quickly turned to censure, and Washington rammed through a Security Council a resolution which was so weak that China readily signed and is now chastised for living up to the letter of the resolution but not following Washington's unilateral directives, which go far beyond it. That's the current issue of foreign affairs, the main establishment of the Foreign Affairs Journal. Well, while the U.S. can tolerate Turkish disobedience, though with dismay, China's harder to ignore. So the press, New York Times, warns that uh, China's investors and traders are now filling a vacuum in Iran as businesses from many other nations, especially in Europe, pull out in fear of the United States, uh, and in particular, it's expanding its dominant role in Iran's uh, energy industries. All of this is quite in accord with the UN resolutions, but inconsistent with the more extreme US demands, which have no legal authorization other than what's granted by power. The State Department warned China that if it wants to be accepted in the international community, that's incidentally another technical term that refers to the U.S. and whoever happens to agree with it at the moment. Uh, if China wants to be accepted in the international community, it must not skirt and evade international responsibilities, which are clear, namely follow U.S. orders. Uh, China unlikely to be impressed. I suspect this led to some amusement in the Chinese foreign offices.